Hi guys and welcome to this unboxing of the Armada Empire of Dust starter fleet. Now it's just come through the uh, the door and uh, I couldn't wait to get the uh, the cellophane off it. And I thought we'd unbox it and look at the cards and, and discuss what the Empire of Dust are going to be like um, in the game, which is uh, the fourth faction. Really excited to get using them. So like with all unboxings on the channel, I've just pulled the cellophane off. You can hear the, uh, the production team hold their breath as I open it up and see what's in the box. <laughs> Let's have a look. So... So in the box, it comes with three ships, which is a, a Cahopshi, <laughs> a Soul Hunter, and a War Galley. Um, obviously, you get your Mantic points on the side as well there. Okay, so let's have a look at the miniatures. Okay, so we get one large ship, which is it's pretty cool getting a large ship in the start of fleet in there. That's, uh, that's really cool. So base, and then the model, and now this guy, look at that. Again, the detail on that is lovely. I love the Egyptian sort of theme to them. The blisters on there. Look at the detail that they've managed to get into this miniature. On the back there as well, all the oars. And look at that. Now, embossed detail on a resin miniature like that. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. Obviously, there's cleaning up to do on it, but wow. Lovely model. Really nice model. And that is the... I believe the war galley, and that's like the large model. And obviously, it's got the sails. If you look at the sails; have got the uh, like the Anubis head built into them. All the details there on the flags as well, which is really cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> painter's dream. And I think if we look on here, yeah, we have like the front bit. It's like a. I imagine that's some sort of like. Th magical fire thrower which is cool um, again though look at the detail on that it's like got legs as if it's like a little sphinx which is cool moving on to other aspects look at that guy <laughs> the detail on these ships that Mantic have got is, is amazing and I believe he <clears throat> is part of the Kolopsky now I apologise if my pronunciation there is awful um, but yeah look at the Ballistas on the tops there. Details on there really good. Don't all that look like and I've got any issues with casting at all here either, which is again it just says something about the leaps and bounds Mantic have made about the models. They're absolutely incredible. And we've got another little sort of fire thrower thing there, which I believe goes on the Soul Hunter. And then this this bit which is really cool, it's like a portal. <laughs> Yeah, throw some magic at you, that's what we want. And that's the Soul Hunter sort of ship, which is, again, all the oars on there, individual. Really nice. It, amongst all the hull here, they've got all the details etched into them. Yeah, they just such a good model. Look at that. Yeah, really cool. So as always, the models, I'm very impressed with them. Yeah, can't complain at all. I think, again... I don't really think you can say much about these resins. They're, they're just beautiful. <laughs> just no ifs or buts. Um, but let's have a look at the actual cards and see what these guys are going to bring to the tabletop. So I've just been uh, <laughs> chuckling to myself with this that I've got. Um, oops, undead goblins infiltrated our graphic files and inserted errors in some cards. Pesky things. We've provided replacement cards for those that have errors in the original packs. Brilliant. Mistakes happened, you know what I mean? But we, we, they've just they've headed that off and just gone, here you go. Here's some cards. Yeah, even though if you've got, you might have something wrong with your card, we've already included the replacement correct ones for you. Yeah, can't go wrong at all, can you? And there we go. So these are the, the cards that you get with the, uh, the fleet, so to speak. So let's have a look. Empire of Dust fleet rules. So lightning bolt. Once per game when this ship shoots, it may fire a lightning bolt into any one of its firing arcs in addition to any other weapons used. The bolt has a range of 10 and is fixed. As a fixed or modified to hit score of a 3 or more, okay. Visibility to the target is not required. I like that. If the spell hits, inflict N damage in addition to that from other guns and roll a D6 on a 2 plus pl blaze marker on the target ship. Using the lightning bolt on its own still counts as using weapons in that firing arc. 
the lightning ball will cause critical hit and my 10 is normal. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that's the first thing that we've seen, apart from indirect weapons, obviously, that means you, you've got a bit of a, a naughty little shot that you can do. Um, none of the ships on here, I believe, have a lightning bolt on them as, as such, but we've not got through to the upgrades yet. Soul Thirst, in the end phase of a turn, enemy ships that are within three inch or one or more soul hunters must pass the skills test or suffer D3 automatic damage. Lovely. Terror. Enemy ships must re-roll successful Curse of Undeath skill tests when involved in boarding actions with this ship. This ship has grappling hooks for free, not counting towards the normal upgrade limit. Okay, wow. So I can tell you that the Klopsky Liar medium ship has Terror. And that looks like all of it for now. If it looks like your Klopsky is probably going to be your uh, go, go forth and engage, so to speak. So we have Curse of Undeath. Enemy ships involved in boarding actions against Empire of Dust ships must take a skill test before rolling any dice to attack. If the test is failed, they suffer an additional minus one to hit modifier for that boarding action. Okay, that's pretty cool. Light ores, this ship may slow and control its movement. During one move step in its activation, it may move any distance up to its move value instead of the full amount with a, with a minimum of two. Oh, wow. Okay, so it can sort of slow down, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Expendable. Friendly ships within three inch of one or more friendly slave squadrons, which you'll see in the unboxing of the uh, the booster fleet, can transfer any amount of damage they suffered into one of those slave squadrons instead, up to the maximum amount the slave squadron can suffer before it is destroyed. Okay, that's really cool. Excess damage must be suffered by the original target. Transfer damage is not counted for calculating the results of boarding actions. Critical hits cannot be transferred either. The amount of damage or the results. Okay, that's fair enough, isn't it? What have we got here as well? Wow. So, all ah, right, okay. And then we've got the, the reissued card, which we've already seen. So, the, that's your sort of fleet rules. Look at our upgrades. Captains, High Priest Tamork. <laughs> Instead of deploying normally during the end phase of turn two, that's the very last action of that phase. The ship captain by Tamark enters play from the depths of the ocean. Okay. Place the model anywhere that is more than 10 inches away from enemy ships and more than 6 inches away from terrain facing any direction and anchored. The ship can then act normally from turn 3 onwards. Note that the ship with Tamark cannot be one that is sp specific to a scenario, so it can't be the flagship and stuff like that. But if you can pop a ship up anywhere on the board, and you know really pretty much have a good idea where the wind's going to be roughly... That's incredibly powerful. Hmm. Okay. Arcaten the Cursed Slayer. I, I think I'm having him just for his name, to be fair. When shooting at the ship with Arcaten, any to hit rolls of natural one will inflict their normal damage on the shooting ship as the weapons misfire. So no bonus for point blank or raking fire. While shooting at the ship with Arcaten, any to hit rolls of natural one will inflict their normal damage on... Oh, wow. That's well, okay. So anyone shooting him is going to potentially damage their own ship. Really bad for me because I run loads of ones. Anyway. <laughs> Balefire. Upgrade. Standard upgrade. Can only be taken on ships within direct weapons. Damage from these weapons is increased to D6 plus 1 and causes fire. So puts blaze marker on the target. Wow, that's uh, I'd be having that all day long. Wind Blast. Min battleship only. Once per activation at the start of one of its move steps, the ship can use Wind Blast and add 2 inches to its move movement value for that step. Roll a D6 on a 1. The Wind Blast is exhausted and cannot be used again in this name. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Like that. That's pretty cool. And a magical upgrade. Soul Snare. Use only when not already grappled and instead of attempting a grapple. During the boarding actions phase, this ship may unleash a Soul Snare. Targets enemy, any enemy ship within 8 inch and that is at least partially visible. Roll 1d10 for each point of crew strength on that target ship. Each score of an 8 plus causes 1 damage on the target ship and recovers 1 damage on this ship. Okay, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? So you think, right, okay, there's a smasher over there with a massive crew. I'm going to chuck a load of d10 and actually potentially repair some of my ship and cause some damage to it. Very, very, very cool. Talking to ships, let's have a look see what they do. Okay, so let's start with our war galley. 60 points, so this is the, uh, the large ship. Main battleship, as you'd imagine. Yellow turning. Uh, one light gun out the back. Two heavy, three light, and one indirect out the side. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> right. One heavy out the front. Two heavy, three light, and one indirect out the side, the other side. Okay, that's, that's, that's something totally new, isn't it? Right. So this is like a turnable 
and direct thing, which is pretty cool. So the ship has oars as well. It doesn't have light oars, it has oars. Um, movement four, so it's a slow go. Uh, nerve 63. Structure set, wow. They are undead though, aren't they? <laughs> so these these guys, their nerve is, wow. That, that's incredible. Uh, Cruise on the five. Yeah, that's a really interesting ship. It's almost like a slow sort of move around the flanks and sort of just absolutely lamp things with indirect. And I imagine that means you can fire indirect twice. Yeah, out of either side. Very, very, very cool. <laughs> the Kilopshi. Now, I'm sure there's a way of pronouncing that, and I do apologise if I butchered it. Um, medium ship, main battleship, Terra. So we've seen the Terra mechanic, 40 points. So they're not they're not cheap points-wise, these ships. Movement of 6, 36 nerve, 40 structure. Cruise from the 5, 2 heavy, 1 light out the side, and 2 light out the front. So yeah, that's like your main, main battleship with Terra, isn't it? That's pretty cool. So, sort of run-of-the-mill main battleship. And if we look at the Soul Hunter, okay, so it's 20 points, it's a support ship. All oh, right, okay, so it's support, yeah. Uh, Soul Thirst and Light Horse. This, can, this one can sort of like lower its movement down to two, can't it? Movement of four, nerve 18, structure 20, and two crew strength. But it's two light and one indirect. So this is like your indirect gun boat, isn't it? But it's actually got a really high nerve. So one of the first things that, that sort of strikes me is you, you're not going to cripple these guys easily. And once you've crippled them, you've pretty much destroyed them. And there you go. So yeah, something totally different. Totally different way of playing the game. Totally different fleet mechanic. Very, very excited about it. Um, do watch out, because Sal will be unboxing Ooh, the booster fleet next, um, which you'll see later on today. Um, but yeah, really cool. The models are beautiful. Uh, again, the models are absolutely beautiful. I'm very impressed with Mantic with the whole game. And uh, yeah, do subscribe for more Armada content. We'll be using these guys in battles and painting them up and so on and so forth. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying the Empire of Dust. And I hope you're enjoying your Armada. And wherever you are in the world, stay safe, stay well. And happy hobbying.